Hey there, Bucky fans. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and we're going to do the last video of our Season 22 rank climb using a team that we built from scratch. I say last because the end of the season is right now. Today is Monday, the last day of Season 22. But more importantly, we have 150 matches underneath our belt. 150. I haven't hit this high of a number in a very, very long time. To be very specific, the last time I had gotten close to 150 was in season 20. And before that, it was season 18, where we hit 130 again. And then back in season 8, when I had 115 battles underneath my belt. I am super excited, and I'm very happy that we made it this far. Kept up with our word, except for a couple of days where I got sick and then had missed a couple of uploads because I got addicted to a very very addictive simulator game and i can assure you that's quickly dying out i got to a point into the game to where i am literally farming for cash not very fun it's getting very very grindy for me to get anything done i'm literally just sitting in a corner watching everyone do everything i have a guy that's really really fast in the checkouts i have three stalkers probably not the best is it literally takes me away from the game which is not great i'm honestly thinking about firing them or at least all but one is he's very fast at stalking but i don't know i'll figure it out but for now we need to get to our last six matches now at the end i do have a couple of things what i'd like to do for season 23 if you guys want to give me your ear for just a few minutes but it is monday i'm home from work so i can finish the assets and hopefully have the challenge cup or the challenge uh the grand challenge i'm sorry <laughs> edited and done as well taking me a long time to finish it but hopefully i'll have everything done so you guys have something to watch for now let's get into it the last six that we have 150 it's gonna be exciting don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys at the end let's do it okay so we have entity hatterini Gallade, lilligant torkoal and ursaluna typical hard trick room team with aggressive sun in case if you're not able to do it and the entity is female so there's that and lilligant is his Swian. Yay me, but we do have a weather counter, so we should have that under our belts for the time being. Uh, we'll bring in Dragapult for a graph, that way we can turn off, uh, but I'm, I'm afraid that I'm gonna get imprisoned again, but I'll have that so that we can take down entities so that we can have things to go off of. But I could also Terra Steel and go straight for Hatterini. I think that's gonna be the, the goal of this video. We're not gonna bring it in Incineroar, or Whimsicott, those are two targets that would literally be the death of uh, death of us. We do not bring in Whimsicott when we can clearly see a duo trick room variant in front of us. Entity had or any. Okay, so the question is, do we Terra Steel and Terra Blast? Or do we Dragon Darts and just knock out the partners? I think Terra Blasting into Hatterini and Imprisoning is going to be the best thing that I can have for Burgraph. I do run the risk of Mythical Fire coming out of Hatterini. Now, Hatterini has the ability of Magic Bounce, so any status moves bounce off of them and hits the target. Target that did it. There's the Follow Me, which is what I was debating. Um, I'm locked into Terra Blast, it's not a big deal. Um, let's see. Imprison! No trick room for you. Banning Force. It's also a problem, but I'm able to withstand it. Okay, so we know it's Life Orb 2, but we'll hit Hatterini. And... I'm gonna protect Brigraph just so that we can keep uh, keep that going. They can't protect. Brigraph has protect, so they can do everything else but that. I kind of want to switch foul play to um, helping hand. I think that might be a bigger option. Terra goes over to Hatterini. Probably fire. Water. Okay, it's gonna negate whatever I can do to it. Totally fine, because I think Unity is going to 
Oh, helping hand this time. Okay. So it's gonna resist Terra Blast against Hatterini, which is fine. Bop. Expanding Force does not hit the uh, Farafrig. Will hit the Dragapult though. Hmm. I've also seen the Dortmund uh, regional. That was a pretty good fight. Like the two days. Jesus. Now the the type of the matchups I was seeing, like Pokemon that they were going to that they were using, I uh, I think it was really really easy to see. Uh, otherwise, it was uh, it was pretty interesting to watch. Absolutely interesting. Um. I'm gonna swap the Titar. I'm gonna give him back a trick room for a minute. They're probably not gonna be expecting it, to be honest. They will be probably using it now. There'd be no reason not to. By now, I mean next turn. Nasty plots. Or Hatterini could be using it. Expanding Force. Does not affect T-Tar. It's probably not going to do... Uh, it's a pretty good, decent amount of damage to Golden Go. Okay. Off by the Sandstorm. But I also have a special defense boost now. Due to the weather. So we're going to make it rain to make it a little bit more feasible. And I'm going to knock off... Um, you know what? Let's target Hatterini just in case. In the event, I think Follow Me is going to come out here. They kind of don't want to activate Trick Room. I mean, they could, but it will be going last. Follow Me on the Entity. But I make it Rangos first. That's the devil. Okay. I figured just in case if like I do miss or I'm not able to get the double off. Like, missing's like not, not a thing really with Make It Rain. Only way that I can miss is like they literally did stand attack in which uh, Make It or um, Golden Go would resist. So they really would have to like mud slap me. They would have to hit me with a move that had a, like a secondary effect. Pretty much. Because otherwise it would not work. Gallade comes out. Torkoal comes out. Torkoal's gonna swap the weather. Then Shadow Ball the Gallade. And I'm gonna knock off Torkoal. They already used the Terra, so Torkoal's not gonna do as, as much damage. Jets on the Torkoal. Yeah. Shadow Ball and Gallade probably have Sash. Nope. Yeah. Good. We're able to delay him enough to where we can actually do a lot of damage to it. Dope. And we're plus one in our special attack, so Oracle's gonna have a really hard time dealing with us, and we have I have access to priority now. Which really won't do anything, but here we go. I have a rock slide. Never mind, battle's canceled. Woop woop. Was it? So many here. You guys have no idea. Like I have one page that has nothing but fights on it. <laughs> it's like that for like two, three pages. It's insane. All right, we have Lone Nine Tails, Glaceon, Amoongus, Porygon Two, Ursaluna, and Torkoal. So two weather setters, hard trick room, so on and so forth. 
Okay, Dragapult and Furgraph like we did before. Uh, instead of bringing in Golden Go, we'll bring in Incin and Titar, and we'll call it good. Now, three people on this list were all over the Dortmund Regionals. Can you guess which three? <laughs> no spoilers of, of who won and stuff like that, but there was um, a lot of Moonguses, Oregons, and Ursulinas. Uh, it seemed like a good portion of the player base there, which EU has always been known to play very defensively. So they usually go for like the bigger, bulkier Pokemon that can withstand a few hits or not. So they use a lot of Trick Room teams and there were some that didn't. There was a trainer that used almost identically Paul Chua's team in Baltimore. They got him in second place. Um, there was a team that was primarily identical except for two different Pokemon. Uh, well, yeah, it was uh, identical teams except for one Pokemon had one thing, another Pokemon had another thing. That's it. So, like, yeah. Special attack on Porygon 2. That's not great. Does this do anything? Nope. Okay. Um. So... Phantom Force... Let's hit the Amoongus, and I'm just gonna go ahead and imprison the Frigraph. Dragapult vanishes instantly. Imprison, so no Trick Room, no Protect. Try Attack. Ow? Spore? Does not affect Dragapult. He's currently not here right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Oh, and the beep is going to come much later. Much, much later. Protect from the Frigraph. And of course... Ooh! That hurt. That hurt a lot. Oof, that hurt. Same by uh, Rock Helmet. Try attack. Goes out the Frigraph, but here comes Spore. Into... Yep. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Um, Owl Phantom Force. Do I want to swap now? I think swapping now would be beneficial. But if I swap, I run the risk of being hit by something I don't want to. So I'll just hit the uh, Amoongus for a little bit. I'll hit it, and then I'll protect the next turn. Or maybe even swap. Maybe I'll do that. Hey, the Withdrew Amoongus, okay. Bring out someone that has a lot of attack. Do that. And, oh! Oh, whoa. Oh. 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 I'll play. I mean, a four? It's not bad. He's perked. Let's go ahead and... We got Ensign and Protect. My other two are like really, really weak, so I have to plan the tarot around that. I would like to get a free switch in to bring in someone else. But I feel like I should save Dragapult for an another opportunity. And since, so now we can do the Intimidates. Attack. Yeah, because Facade would have to hit the slot, so you have to go to Earthquake. Try attack. So either Facade or Earthquake. It's... Oh, Headlong Rush. Okay. I mean, yeah, take down Incineroar. I'm okay with this. I'm absolutely okay with that. I'm not saying that because he's already knocked out. I'm saying that because... You know. I'm okay with it. Uh, we'll bring out Titar. Free switching. Sandstorm kicked up. Terra, Ice Punch.
And we'll swap to Dragapult. Because if they do do Trick Room right now, I do not have uh, any speed control on my side. So they'd really, really, really have to guess that I would like withdraw for a graph. Because I could literally sacrifice it to hit uh, this Pokemon in the face. And I haven't done like hardly anything to Porygon 2. I haven't needed to. Doesn't mean that won't change, but Haley waits true. Please, please be around Moonless. Yep. Okay, good. Ice Punch is going to do a lot. A lot. Also, Terra flying now. Ice punch. Not. Ugh, that sucks. Try attack. Everyone's buffed by the sandstorm. Somebody poison the water hole. Da -da -da. Hit that slot and I'll go ahead and hit Dragon Darts. Okay, protect. Dragon Pulse still asleep. Like, there was no way I was gonna stop Porygon 2. I mean, I could have gotten like a flinch, but Trick Room's gonna be activated here. And there it is. Who would have guessed? Not me. Not me at all. Who could have seen this coming? Absolutely not me. Why would I see it? I can never guess. I'm a terrible person. No, I'm not a terrible person. I'm just a terrible battler. Uh, Dragon Darts, and we'll go straight into Amoongus slot, I think. Guitar's gonna come back. Spore's gonna go into that slot because Drag Dragapult's still asleep. So, unless they plan to just attack into it. Nope. Safety goggles. Not quite. Or they can just flat out knock it out because Oregon 2 gets every move under the sun. It doesn't, but I like to pretend that it does. <laughs> I like to pretend that it does. Come on out, Titar. Let's do that. Spore's gonna hit T-Tar. Triple uh, tri attacks might go into for graph. It's probably not. I mean, it might, but they have to knock out T-Tar, and he's not frail. Nope. Okay, this is a loss. Nope, this is a loss. I might knock out Amoongus. That might be funny. Ba -ba -ba. Um, yeah, I'll just rock side, why not? Here comes the switch into Ursaluna. Maybe Torkoal. I doubt it, but maybe Torkoal. Nope, Pollen Pop. Uh, that's not very effective. That wasn't even a crit, too. That's sad. But it put me in range of foul play. Which is weird because if I tried to do that, it would take it wouldn't take that much. Remember Ursaluna when I did foul play to it before it got burnt? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Either no one's buffing up their uh attacks on Ursaluna or foul play just sucks on Frigraph. I have no idea. Okay, we have Rillaboom, Gengar, Murkrow, Charizard, Crocodile, okay, and Golden Go. Neat. So we'll walk in with, um, walking with, when's it caught? Guitar. 
Incin, and Dragapult. Now, usually what I would like to do is walk in with Whimsicott and Dragapult. But if I do that, my strongest and fastest Pokemon gets automatically used and which I don't really set up anything in the late game. Instead, I just set up in the early game. So it's kind of like, okay, if I don't have a way to get back in the, in the earlier versions, it kind of makes it hard. This way, I put them on, on a lot of pressure right from the, from the get-go, because I could do Helping Hand or Tailwind and then Rock Slide, and that super affects them on that side of the field. Am I just instantly gonna get KO'd? No. But now Murkrow can't do anything to Tyranitar, even though he's a small baby. I, I really need to get a larger one. My tiny, my my tiny T-Tar. Uh, Terra goes to Charizard. Yep. And fire. Okay, makes it worse. You're gonna waste a sunny day to give Charizard his solar power ability active. I'm gonna click Tailwind. My team becomes fast. So we've already influenced this game right off the get-go. Here comes Rock Slide. Charizard doesn't get the KO, but do I get a flinch? I don't. Here comes a Heat Wave. So look at that. Tatar takes a little less than 100 points of damage. Solar Power. Does a lot, my friend. That does a lot. Now we bring in Dragapult. So we can instantly start punishing that side of the field because I could just do dragon darts and um, yeah, rock slide. Why not? Why not? <clears throat> I outspeed currently, so they have to use tailwind, but I still outspeed because dragapult. Oh, quash. That's kind of a bad choice. Rock slide. Mrs. Murkra, I don't care. It's Charizard. That's the target that I wanted to hit. Like, essentially, I want to hit both, but if I had to give up one or the other, Murkrow's it. I'm absolutely okay with that. Dragon Darts, him right in the face. I still have Tailwind. They still lose two. I lost one. And Charizard did not get to attack. So, out of that interaction, I'm totally down with losing Charizard as long as I lost someone that's uh, worth it. And to me, that was worth it. I need Crocodile. Okay. Oh, can't do that. Oh, no. Um. Dragon Darts will hit Crocodile first. Terra. And knock off on Gengar. Gengar is Levitate. Just. No. Does he have. No, he doesn't have Levitate anymore. I think he has Skirt's body. I don't think he has it anymore. I'm still going to Terra flying so that I'm off the ground. Dragon Darts. Hits the Crocodile. That's a lot of damage. Hits Gengar. Ooh, that's still a lot of damage. Knock off. Down goes Gengar. Might have had Sashed. Uh, for some reason, didn't use Destiny Bond. Although, that doesn't... Sash. Okay. So Usually, uh... Oh no, knock off right back to Dragon Ball. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, usually, Testy Beno activates, and I don't think it has priority. Usually, that's what activates. So, this is a win on our part because Ensign comes in, intimidates them. They don't have Moxie, it's Intimidate. But I go Fake Out and Ice Punch. And I'm good. I'm good. They already used their Terra. They set up for Sun and not really anything else, and I still have Tailwind. Even if I didn't have Tailwind, Fake Out would hit and then Ice Punch. So they have to protect here. Fake Out. They didn't protect. Ice Punch. Lamo. Massive W for a team that honestly they probably could have taken me. I don't know what item Charizard had, but I would have went with the life orb solar power. 
that almost equates to what a uh, sheer force life orb does for landris and there's other pokemon that have sheer force i would love to use them uh, in this regulation before we're completely done okay oh well same team as we came up against uh <laughs> Adderini, entity lilligant Oracle, ursaluna and galley so it is entity female the swing lilligant and physical ursaluna um i kind of walked in this last time and it did wonders so i wonder how it's gonna work this time oh that was really quick on their side they're probably like oh i got this i wonder if this is the same player i think it would be kind of funny if it was uh but if it's not they're probably thinking oh i got this easy dubs i don't have to worry about anything hopefully uh, i get to show them a little bit of what i've learned from countering this uh, this play style we'll see Oh look, Entity Torkoal. Go. Like Surge. Okay. So Psychic Seat activates. Drought also activates now. So what I'm gonna do is imprison, Wop to T Tar to turn off the weather. And this immediately puts Entity under fire because Knockoff is gonna do a ton of damage. And I'm going to be doing a lot of damage to Torkoal since I'm going to be immediately cut, uh, cutting off the fire with Tiny Titar for the Sandstream. Terra, probably goes to Torkoal. Yeah. Fire. And because I'm Assault Vest and have more special defenses in Fand. I don't really have to worry about anything. In prison, so no trick room. None of that. Eruption. It's not super effective now, boy. Not super effective. And now anything that has a sash is now considered broken. Protect, and I'm gonna rock slide. To hit the Torkoal for a lot. Adorini's probably going to swap out here anytime. That would make the most sense. No. Any more? Any protects? Nope. Just follow me. Spamming eruption nonsense with Torkoal. Okay. Rock slide. I'm going to drop his attack even further. That's power. I'm not very afraid of that. I'm I'm not very afraid of that. Um Let's swap to Golden Go here. I think I'm gonna keep in just foul play Unity and just rock slide again. There we go. Down goes Torkoal. And the foul play should Probably not, but it should knock out Entity. Should. It's very, very weak. Entity flinch couldn't move. Nope. Yep, there it goes. Even better. Power of Titar. Okay, someone the sleepy. Patterini. Okay. And the one sleepy. There's Luna. Okay. So I'm going to protect here Terra. And I'm going to Terra Blast Hatterini. Ursaluna has to protect here because it needs to be burnt. It absolutely needs to be burnt. They can't activate Trick Room for Graph is on the on the field and next turn i will let it go down so that i can bring out someone that's going to be very very effective against both of them so as long as i do not get knocked out right here i will be fine text terror flying so i'm not hit by anything by ursa luna no protect. 
That's interesting. Terra Blast right into Hatterini. Headlong Rush does not affect Titar. And Dazzling Gleam. Bounces off that. Hits Titar. Ooh. Mine actually lose both. Hope I don't. Let's hope I don't. Okay, are you gonna protect or are you just gonna hang out? Punch would do a ton, but I need I need to take down Hatterene. I need to stop Trick Room. First and foremost, Trick Room needs to go away. Terra Blast, run into Hatterene. There goes the knockout. Okay. Now part of of Ursula's kit cannot be used. Part of it, I mean, okay, facade, but it's fine. I'm okay with facade hitting me. Because honestly, it now lets me set up something else with Frigograph. And, oh, yes, absolutely, I'll take that. Hurt by the burn. And that faded away. Dope. Let's bring out Dragapult, Dragon Darts. I'm good. We've effectively turned off Trick Room uh, twice. And it's going to continue being that way. Protect. Are they gonna protect two? Nope. Dragon darts. One. And two. Okay. Earthquake. Dragon Bolt lives! With seven. With seven. I'm just gonna just double into attack. You could protect, but I, yeah. Game was over. As soon as it, uh, it dropped itself down to like really, really low, it had one more turn. And I outspeed. I outspeed. It sucks. There's no fe a feasible way of me beating the loss record now. This is the last six videos. We're, gonna, we're stopping at 150. <laughs> Dude, editing this video, if I do the, the full for this one, it's gonna be so long. Probably gonna have three freaking parts. Three, that's insane. Absolutely insane. All right, Conkleder, not, that's not what that is. Garganacle, Annihilate, Rillaboom, Empoleon, ouch. Gompi and Gastrodon. Gastrodon, you say? No, in Pokemon Go, Gastrodon is huge. I think it was like a, a several sightings in Baltimore. I don't have enough Pokemon to battle and go. I'm not even level 50. I would love to, though. I think it would be really, really fun. Uh, in this instance, though, um, Annihilate is going to be the most annoying thing on that side of the field. Um, so is Comfy, to be honest. Polyon's also going to be annoying. I don't really have a, a counter to that. A lot of those people I don't have a counter for. It's just so, so bad. So bad, dad. How do I counter? It's like... I got coal and not propane and propane accessories. Really bad. It's all bad, dead. So oh, bad. Um, God, I think we're just gonna have to go with the four. Leave Golden Go and Frigraph in the back because I don't really have an answer to Empoleon. I, I, have, I hardly have an answer to Rillaboom. I don't have a cohesive answer to Garganacle. And thankfully, the only fairy Pokemon they have is Corviknight, not Corviknight. Wow, that's not even a fairy. It's comfy. Jesus. Hey guys, my name is Matt. I make teams built from scratch out of Pokemon out of thin air. I love that for the channel. <laughs> Some bulk. Yeah. Am I doing... Um... You know what? Helping hand and we'll go ahead and Phantom Force. Stay Empoleon. Terra? Probably Gastrodon, but also might be Empoleon. Empoleon's probably it. Nope, it's Gastro. Gastro, you turn into fire. Fire? Why? I'm super curious. 
But why though? Phantom Force, disappear! Later, Dragon Pult. Surf. Okay. Does nothing to Gastronom, makes us think. Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay, now I can't be super speedy, but I'm still super speedy. You just don't know it yet. All right, let's bring out Tyranitar, which isn't gonna do anything to uh, Empoleon too much, but it will affect Gastrodon quite a bit. Also Terra, and I'm gonna Rock Slide, which again does nothing to Empoleon, but it's definitely gonna be hurting Gastrodon. Not a bad combo. You open up with two water types, though. But Storm Drain is not a bad combo. I mean, I can't complain. I've lost to freaking... What was it? Uh, Lapras freaking Vaporeon. Oxide. Misses Gastro. Hits and play on. Does it? Yep, does get the KO. Let's go. Down goes Empoleon. Earth power doesn't affect the T-Tar. And everyone's affected by the sand. Ooh, the sand. I wish I had Markiplier's hair and like, hair the poops of power. But no, I don't, I don't have long hair anymore. I got it cut. Got it cut. Short now. Uh-oh, Annihilate. Great friend. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Um, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the flow. Just gonna go this way. I don't know if Helping Hand uh, affected, because it takes two turns to do that. Does anyone know that? Does anyone know the calcs for that? I, I don't think it actually would help. I'm not sure. Oxide hits both. That's a lot of damage to the Gastrodon. That's a lot of damage. Gastrodon flinch could not move. Dragapult buffed by the sand. Annihilate is also buffed by the sand. Tyranitar. It's like it's going to all the speed tiers, I think. Yeah, that would make sense if it was. Absolutely would make sense. Okay. And I'll just... Why not? We'll Terra Blast into it. I'm gonna get hit and I'm probably gonna get punched in the face. But if I can set off uh, a, a thing to... Oh, you protect? Oh. Oh. Poor little Annihilate. That doesn't help you. That didn't help you at all, buddy. Also... Bulk up and absorb any of that damage? I will take that. I'll absolutely take that. Bop. Bop, bop, bop. I, I was assuming that bulk up would have done something to absorb a little bit of that damage. I know it was a plus one, but I'm, well, I'm also banded and it's super effective. Maybe it, it probably would have been different if they didn't use the Terra on, you know, the Pokemon that literally could not have had it used. <laughs> it's just comfy. Uh, this is bad. This is really bad, Dad. Ooh, green kiss. Yeah, like you got triage. Triage hurts. It absolutely hurts. Terra Blast. Look, they had, they had coal and we won with propane and propane accessories. We won, Dad. Oh, that's so funny. Dragapult is uh, nowhere to be seen and yet can still be hit with stuff from beyond the grave. Um, we're just going to bring an Incineroar. That way we take neutral damage to Draining Kiss. Okay. I was going to say, like, I'm just going to retreat Tyranitar and just let that thing get hit with Phantom Force. I just didn't want them to get a lot of health back in the event that they would have held and or healed enough damage to withstand the phantom force right and definitely on the dragapult you would have healed like um, a huge amount 
as you have triage or you could have you know hit tyranitar and done i mean it's 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 still very little he is assault vested but he's no longer rock type which means the sand doesn't really help him out for his defenses or i might be wrong in that i'm not a i'm not a, a, a usual 100 t-tar guy so i'll have to bring it up with jt but i think he loses the special defense boost because he's a he's not a rock type ground type or steel type so i think that's how it works all right we've got hydragon murkrow entity female is Sweeney, sneezler tikaton and cerulege okay that's uh that's pokemon right there hmm, that's some pokemon right there how do i combat this though how do i do the things that i'm supposed to do whimsicott and i kind of want to do t-tar again t-tar like last time did extremely well against murkrow and um Charizard, and it set me up really well with Dragapult. Although if I do it this time, I'm probably going to be a little bit screwed because Hydreigon hits hard and Whimsicott's the only one that can hit him hard outside of Dragapult. So I think I'm going to open up with my usual. Um, bring in Golden Go and Titar. We'll leave Ensign in the back because I can't fake out once Psychic Surge comes out. I could just kind of swap in to absorb it all. But since, especially since Sneasler's out there, I need to be very careful. Sneezer is one of the Pokemon that was used a lot fighting poison type with its Dark Claw. It's a really good chance of like paralyzing, sleeping, or poisoning a target. Like, yeah. Uh, we're going to do that. Terra, Dragon Darts, and I'm going to start with Hydreigon. It was probably going to Terra as well. Probably. But we are going to Terra so that we don't get hit with Draco Meteor, which is what usually comes on Hydreigon or Snarl. Both of them are stabs to that Pokemon, and they probably have both including heat wave so that also might be specced to just do a ton of damage since he already has a pokemon that is set up to do tailwind Terra is going to go to hydreigon is it fire it is fire fun happy happy joy joy happy happy joy joy so this is probably heat wave which means it's going to do a lot Tailwind, so even speed tiers, but I'm faster still as I'm 213. 146 base speed, baby. Let's go. And I'm going to lose both my Pokemon. Oh, Snarl. I will take that. I will take a Snarl. Absolutely. I will absolutely take that Snarl. And I'm going to hit Hydreigon with Dragon Darts again. With your Hydreigon. Okay. Entity. Not a good thing, if you ask me, because I'm just about to remove uh, Merker off this list. Oh, you double switched. Okay. It's a Rulege. Sneasler. Okay. Okay. Psychic Seed activates, so now it has Unburden. Dragon Darts. Bop. That was a crit. Ow. Bop. Moon Blast. Bop. Bop. Um. Let's protect here, and I'm going to swap to Golden Go, thinking that that is uh, close combat. Dire Claw wouldn't come to my slot. So it would have to be close combat. Absolutely. So bring out Golden Go. Protect. Follow me on the entity. Close combat. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, Tailwind's got one more turn of both. Let's swap to Dragapult here just so I can keep my my thing and we'll just go ahead and make it rain. That way if Dire Claw goes after Whimsicott, I say again, I save my 
Tailwind, their Tailwind swapped out, so I need to be able to save mine. Follow me kicks in. Um, dire Claw and Close Combat. Okay, Throat Chop. It's a lot, but it doesn't affect Make It Rain. And it either survives. It survives. Not bad for Throat Chop, though. Not a bad combo. Absolutely not bad. Okay, Tailwinds are gone for both sides. They're probably going to bring back Murkrow so they can reset in Tailwind. It would make the best sense. Nope, it's High Dragon. Okay. Interesting. Interesting take. Um, very effective. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to protect. Gonna protect with through entity. Here comes Murkrow. <laughs> Phantom Force. Vanish. Heat wave. So I knew it was Heat Wave. It did Snarl first because they didn't think I was going to Terra, but if I have to... I have to Terra in front of a Dragon. There's just no way to dodge that. Flop in T-Tar, so now everyone's just going to start dealing with hits and stuff. But it's the best way that I can make it so that Golden Go can survive, because right now, I Dragon can't hit anybody, and Murkrow's probably going to activate Tailwind. With Drew Hydreigon, so here comes... Entity who's gonna take a hit. It won't because it's a it's immune. Okay. But it's still gonna take a hit because uh sandstream. Hit tailwind. take any damage what are you do you have safety goggles you probably do dragon bolt come back there's been a lot of switching in this game i kind i'm kind of digging it attacked on the murkrow rock slide mrs murkrow pre please hit it does. Let's go. That's a KO. That's a super effective hit. Let's go. That's a super effective hit. Let's go. Marco's hit by the Sandstream. Sandstorm is the same thing. By Sand. Gar the Funk is over here hitting people with Sand. Does Goggles help you from being hit by stuff like that? I want to say yes, but I could be wrong. Let's do Tailwind so I can also catch up with the speeds and just Rock Slide. Why not? Why not? What are you going to do? You can't stop T-Tar. You might stop um, Whimsy. Haunt it. Oh, Protect. You go for the double, but it fails. That's okay. I, I still might miss. I still might miss. Don't worry. Hyper voice? They're still faster than T. See, told you. I <laughs> I might miss. I might miss. Uh <laughs> still faster than T Tar though. That's interesting. I know that they still have Tailwind. But like Tailwind's up on their end. But I wasn't expecting like T Tar to be slower than uh I'm just going to ice punch you in the face now. I'm just... Okay. I was like, okay, we're going to moonblast you. That that move doesn't miss. And I'm going to punch you in the face with ice. 
that also doesn't miss. Uh, <laughs> Whew. Dang it. Why does the series have to be over? Why does the series have to be over? There's no physical way that I can catch up to the, to the lost record now, and I feel like I'm on a roll. But I also know what this means, and I'm going to do it live. We're not going to continue. We're going to go back like this. And there it is. At the time of this recording, we are currently 21,631, 68 wins, 82 losses to a total amount of 150 bytes. That's a lot of Pokemon. That's absolutely a lot of Pokemon. In October, there is 31 days, okay? 31 times six. As we, we plan on continuing our, our daily upload, so we, we still do that. So six times 31, that's 800, 800. Wow. Hey guys, I'm gonna play Pokemon for the rest of my life until I have 800 fights in one day. Bro, I'd be sitting here forever. I probably could do that, honestly. No, I couldn't. That's like 80 fights a day. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I can't. There's no way. Uh, even at 10 fights, right? I go Aaron Zhang's level of, of commitment. Six is a lot. It absolutely is a lot, especially when, when you have to like record multiple different avenues. So like when I say what I mean by avenues is if I if I have to record for uh, the ranked battles and then I have to record another special event, let's say that I'm battling against you guys at Discord and then I have to record something else like the grand challenge or if I'm like shooting behind the scenes stuff for random people that want to see it like on Patreon or whatever. It's like, I don't have, like I have a Patreon, but I don't have it activated for stuff like that. So please don't, don't do that. Don't expect like me just to like, Hey guys, draw my page. Like I will shill it out at some point right now. It's just not ready. I don't know what to do with it. 100%. It's there if you guys want to support me, but it's not required and I don't have anything listed for any of the tiers. I kind of want to keep everything not behind a paywall. And I think just having you be able to, to generalize support is a lot better for me just because of the fact that at my level of skill, I can't promise that I'm going to come up with something that no one else has. And I feel like I'm cheating people out by going, hey, you can find out the EV sets on this team if you go to my Patreon and pay for like $10 and you get the whole EV build and stats and stuff like that. And I'm not throwing shade at anyone else. Get your bag. I'm just saying for me specifically and personally, I don't want to do that. So eventually Patreon is going to be available for you guys to view. Just not yet. Uh, but <laughs> that's 186 battles in a month, which is insane. We're 36 battles away from that ourselves, which would be great. But one thing I want to do, which is why I wanted this to have like a couple of minutes of your guys' time to kind of talk things over, which is why I just kind of did everything live. So we're not having a cut where it's like, okay, this is the outro. Like I usually do. I kind of want to get some things out there, not necessarily to like get anything off my chest. I've been kind of thinking what to do, right? We've been doing this for 22 seasons now, technically 18 seasons. I started in season four. We've hit Master Ball every single time and we have a goal every single time to be able to do it. Now I have no problem building two teams a month, trying them out, getting used to them and having something for you guys to view. And my hope is to always swap out mons. They keep the same theme or something that would help generate more of a, a cohesive team that you guys could be proud of and use and try to have a rental code. But like that rental code isn't even feasible for like the first week, maybe week and a half, just because of the fact that the team is still under construction. So I think the rental code is going to show up at the end when, just before we swap. It's like, all right, so this is the work I've done. Here's the here's what I've got. So here you go. Try it out. Let me know what you guys have done for changes and kind of leave your feedback so we can actually make a, a really good cohesive team. And if you're joining the discord, we do have rental teams that people have submitted before and taken pictures of and put it in there. That way you guys can have fun and enjoy it at your own pace. And even some of my teams are in there as well. So I'm going to try to do that moving forward. So a new rental team every two weeks that you guys can try. And it's going to be swapped out every what? It's two teams a month. So every six months, the first three are going to be gone. I think that's how it is. Because it's like one month is two teams, second month is three and four, 
The third month is five and six. So month four, you'd get a brand new two teams to work with. And by that time, the regulation has changed. So that's something that I want to do. I'm going to write it down just so I can keep it. Um, so rental teams at end of team life. And that's just what I bring to the channel, right? Um, we're still doing dailies, right? So we're not getting rid of those. And we're also not getting rid of our six battles. Those are currently the rules set in stone. I'm not going to go more. If we go more, I will change the upload uh, times. So obviously, like even now, just doing this video, um, I'm well over an hour at this point but that's totally fine. But I also want to start making these videos look and probably feel just a little bit better. I know I've been doing like a lot of meta stuff behind the scenes, which is why you guys haven't seen like a lot of changes just because I want to make sure that I have everything correct. It's like this, this thing that we're building, this is, this is my baby. And I want to try to make it as feasible to be successful as possible regardless if i continue to do pokemon stuff in the future i will obviously this channel of mine search 125 is going to be a pokeytuber channel and i know that i've always like said i'm gonna like shiny hunt i just haven't had time to shiny hunt um we just released episode seven of the let's play so by the time you guys see this i uploaded episode seven late saturday i had to record a couple of hours to get that done but the people that i talk to are saying to have that at like 20 30 minute increments for episodes i don't know if i can do something like that i've already set the ground rules for that one but maybe we can discuss it more of upcoming let's plays i think the next let's play i'm going to be doing is arceus so just let me know what you guys think ahead of time because i would love to do that and we can also make it so that we complete the pokedex there too and i have to complete it by literally catching all the pokemon right i can't just oh well here let me just go ahead and upload it all into home there is some pokemon and shining pearl that i have exceptions for because you have to physically trade for them to get their pokedex entries but i do not have that in arceus there's no link ability in arceus there's just items that you have to find to use them on the pokemon and that's how you get them to evolve but i also like having the chances of sh finding shinies on that game and having a third arceus is probably like the best thing that i have for that but i want to hear from you guys first and foremost whether or not that we should change that from what we currently have from an hour to 20 to 30 minute increments and that and especially like going forward with the series of the ranked battles you're going to see a lot of changes to like titling what's in the descriptions and stuff like that and that's just to optimize it but i also plan on creating really cool and interesting uh thumbnails for these and it's kind of like to highlight each pokemon if we possibly can like use them in a fight and if they get like a close-up to where it's like you know oh you know incineroar does parting shot and it gets like that close-up to his you know his character i want stuff like that to be the thumbnails from now on i think stuff like that looks really really cool and i'm usually the guy that likes movie posters so i'm going to be looking into several resources to see what it would take to a create a movie poster and what it would take for me to have something like that for a thumbnail and trying to make it as uh I, I want it to be pleasing to the eyes as much as possible so i'm going to try to do all of that at the same time uh it's not going to skip out on the on the uploads because i do have an idea of what i could do to make the uh, the uploads a little bit better so we're not going to be like losing quality at all and i'm hoping when the league not league but when the season switches over to 23 that i'm able to sit down to record to have something for you guys for tuesday because otherwise i have to wait till tomorrow night like midnight my time just to kind of play so i'm i'm excited but i'm going to be taking uh, all of today monday because you guys will be seeing this on monday to kind of focus on the roster see what i want to build see what i kind of want to play with and then go from there i'm probably going to review what i saw from the baltimore regionals as well as uh, dortmund excuse me and go from there so i don't know what type of team i'm going to come up with but i'm hoping it's going to be really really fun and i'm hoping that it's very interesting because this is a regulation i never really got into because when i started getting into it the paradox mons came out and then the runic pokemon came out and my answer to all of that was terra fairy garchomp because why not <laughs> but i i have a lot of fun 
and I'm enjoying myself. And I want to continue growing as not only a competitive player, but I also want to grow as just a general all-around trainer in person. So I'm hoping to embark on a brand new journey since 23 is literally around the corner. And the fact that we hit 150 fights just shows us everything that we can do it. Absolutely. So I'm excited. I'm absolutely excited. My voice, it's gone, by the way. <laughs> it's just gone. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think I've taken up uh, enough of your guys' time. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of the outro. If I could just sum it up for you. New things are coming. Grand Challenge is going to be up soon. Hopefully by later on today. If not, um, sometime this week. Assets are pretty much done. I just need to extend the time that they'll be on the screen. Otherwise, I just need to gather up all the pictures I need and be good from there. And if you guys want to have these assets, let me know. I'll create a, a zip file and post it somewhere that we you can add it to your own editing software. But it is in After Effects and it is for Premiere Pro. So if you need something a little bit more specific than that, uh, let me know and I will see what I can. Maybe I'll just put it into like a transparent image and stuff. That way you can use it whenever you'd like. Um, with that being said, I've got nothing else. So do the YouTube things, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel. We're trying to hit 500 by the end of the year. We're eight away and hopefully we can come up with some cool and interesting to do at 500. I think I was thinking about doing like a, an intro. I've been really thinking about that last few weeks. I think doing something like that with all the footage that we have would be amazing. So that would be like really, really dope to have at the beginning of the video. Just need to figure out what I want to add. But I don't, I don't know after that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, still out for suggestions from you guys. Uh, comment as I do reply to your guys' comments. Everything that I just listed is, you know, great. It helps the video and the channel. You guys probably already know this, but it's it helps tremendously. And yeah, stuff is in the description if you want to follow me on X or Twitter. Go on the Discord right there. I'm going to be more active on it starting today. So I'll see you guys later on in there. I don't know if I'll be chatting in voice, but at least uh, texting in the text channels stuff like that so that way we can chat whenever you guys want um i guess that's it happy monday talk to you guys tomorrow for season 23 brand new team hopefully we have something cohesive enough to to run with and it's not like my grand challenge team <laughs> dear god that was terrible you guys have no idea but we it, it was bad absolutely bad um but yeah that's all that i got thanks for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow stay cool stay hydrated drink your water love you all talk to you then talk to you tomorrow see you later peace